Hi, welcome back. And this is the new topics from C++ programming, from problem analysis to program design from the fifth edition. Now let us watch it this detail by detail. The unit one, computers and programming languages. Many people use the internet to look for information and to communicate with others. Actually, all the computer users provided to use the internet, such as the social media, because it includes the computer. For collecting the common computers can be standards for common oriented machine, pure union and trade educational research. So that's we know. This is all made possible by the availability of different software, also known as a computer programs. Many computer computer software that includes and that are made up of the software which has been giving the specific tasks, which can be installed. This is known as the programs, computer programs. Without software, it is hard and that the computer is useless and also because it has made up of a data. Without the data, we can't support the computer software, hardware, and so many systems. Software is developed by using programming languages. The programming language C++ is especially well suited for developing software to accomplish specific tasks. A computer is an electronic device capable of performing commands. It is an electronic machine that you are performing and keep it the commands as the instruction set. The basic commands that the computer performs are input, gate data, output, display result, storage and performance of arithmetic and logical operations. So in the hardware, you can see this in this picture. So as you can see here in this picture, that is included the hardware. So this hardware that can be provided which is can include it, the CPU and the main memory, like random access memory and read only memory and input and output device. So this is the hardware that our works, which is include the central processing unit, main memory, and also called random access memory, input and output, and the secondary memory. When we see the secondary memory, that is reading only memory. That's, that includes ROM, which means read only memory. Read only memory. So that's why we are assured that, and we must follow the following what we have concluded here. Most of the elements of the computer system that's included and the brain of the computer, which is named as CPU. CPU is an abbreviation for central processing unit. That is the brain of the computer and the single most expensive piece of a hardware in a computer. The more powerful the CPU, the faster the computer, arithmetic and the logical operations are carried out inside the CPU. Main memory or random access memory is connected directly to the CPU. All programs must be loaded into main memory before they can be executed. Similarly, all data must be brought into main memory before a program can manipulate it. When the computer is turned off, everything in main memory main memory is lost. For example, if the computer is turned off while you are working something else, when you are doing the process or saving the file or downloading the file of the disk and which might lead us to the memory lost. It may lead us to lose the memory. While the electricity is turned off, it leads to the memory loss. 
Main memory is an ordered sequence of cells called memory cells. Each cell has a unique of location in main memory called the address of the cell. The device that stores information permanently, unless the device becomes unusable or you change the information by rewriting it, is called secondary storage. To be able to transfer information from main memory to secondary storage, these components must be directly connected to each other. Such an example like secondary storage, like hard disks, flash drives, and floppy disks. When we see about the relationship between input devices and output devices, the devices that feed data and programs into the computer are called the input devices. An example of the input devices is a keyboard. When a user is writing the letters of the message, we can help the user can accept the input from the user. This is an input device. Mouse and secondary storage. The device that a computer uses to display results or like displaying the results on a screen or that showing the printer that's known as an output device. Like such an example like monitor, printer, and secondary storage are examples of an output device. What are the softwares? A software are the programs written to specific tasks that use it to perform a specific tasks. Such an example like word processors are the programs that you use to write letters, papers, and even the books. All softwares are written in a programming language. Now let us see what are the difference between the two types, system programs and then application programs. System programs are controlling the computer while the system programming that loads the first when you turn on your PC is called the operating system. Without an operating system, the computer is useless. If we couldn't install the operating system in our computer, it may lead us to the recovery failures. Remember that we have learned about the operating system in the unit four about device management. When it causes without an operating system, it leads to the warning it displays on the black screen error, which names, please insert an operating system and you have to install it. So, the operating system monitors the overall activity of the computer and provides services. This means, like you can see, the monitors, the operating system monitors the overall activity of the computer and provides services. Some of their services like memory management, input or output activities, and storage management. When we say memory management, that includes the main memory that uses to select and collecting the main memory and the catch memory of the buffer. And storage management like a file management that uses to collect the information of the files on your disks which leads to managing the storage of the data. The operating system has a special program that organizes the secondary data or the secondary storage so that you can covenantly access information. And the second of the software types which is known as application programs it performs a specific tasks word processors spreadsheets and games 
are examples of application and programs. The operating system is the program that runs application programs. But how could you know about the computer system, whether are the hardware and the software? Remember here, in the software application programs, provided the specific tasks to collect that usually to install the application softwares, like a Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so many gaming you're going to install. So, follow that in the many times, because the operating system is provided to run and usually to keep the operating system safe and clean to run the application programs smoothly. We will continue about the language of a computer. Thank you.